solidarity with the modern day Mrs. Barber Army. Yay! You are here campaigning against one of the biggest injustices ever perpetrated against women in this country. And that is saying something. You can come up with lots of different ways to describe what has been done and is being done to women over their pensions. You can call it an injustice, you can call it bad policy. I dare say if you were a Tory or a Lib Dem, you'd call it unintended consequences. But I'm going to call it today what it is. It is downright robbery. It is the theft of money that is yours. You know, pensions in the UK by international standards are not particularly generous. Let's be honest about that. If you were getting every penny that you were entitled to, it wouldn't be a king's ransom. But it is not acceptable for money that you have worked for, for money that you had every right to expect to be taken away from you. And even worse than that, to be taken away from you with no opportunity, with no time for you to plan. So thousands, tens of thousands of women across Scotland, uh, hundreds of thousands of women across the UK are losing tens of thousands of pounds. If that is not an injustice, if that is not theft, if that is not robbery, then I don't know what is. And my message to you is do not give up. Mary Barber didn't give up. Down the generations, men and women fighting against injustice, fighting for social progress, have not given up. And they, in so many ways, prevailed. But the journey for social justice is not over. And we will not, in this country, be able to rest until there is justice for women, for the waspy women denied their pensions. So I stand with you today. It's no surprise to any of you, and I'm not going to get party political on you. It's no surprise to any of you that I want to see pensions taken out of the hands of Westminster and put into the hands of the Scottish Parliament. So that if Westminster won't do it, a Scottish Parliament and a Scottish Government can deliver justice for the waspy women. That's my commitment to all of you today. So I'm here today in solidarity with you. Uh, Every woman every man should stand with you and my final point is this this is not just an issue of economic injustice although it is most certainly that this is an issue of gender injustice if this was happening if this was happening to men it would be a national scandal on the front page of every newspaper well as a woman I am not prepared to allow an injustice to be perpetrated against women without all of us shouting it from the rooftop. So I stand with you. Scotland stands with you. And let us not rest until we have delivered justice for all of you. Thank you very much indeed.